Hey DIY fam fam, my name is Yolandi and welcome to Lesho Honolo Kumalo's YouTube channel. Now first things first, if you're already shocked by what is happening in this video, click like. If you're not shocked, still click like and click that red subscribe button if you haven't already. My name is Yolandi and you can find me on Instagram at Yolandi underscore or just search DIY Yolandi. On YouTube, I am DIY Yolandi. LK Home DIY and I have collaborated remotely. I'm taking over her channel intro today. <laughs> so do follow her on Instagram at LK Home DIY. LK Home DIY will be doing a project from my channel and I'll be doing a project from her channel. So if you would like to see the video that that she doing from my channel, click the link, click the card up here after this video. If you would like to see the video that I am doing from her channel, click the link down below in the description box. I hope you enjoy. Okay, boo, come back to your channel now. The fam bam misses you. <laughs> Thank you so much, girl. Guys, please remember to follow her on Instagram at Yolandi underscore Zele. You can also search for DIY Yolandi. And also subscribe to her channel, DIY Yolandi on YouTube. Now, for this video, I am going to be showing you how I recreated Yolandi's door stoppers using cement. Except I did a little bit different. I used exterior polyfiller and this is what I created. So if you'd like to see how I recreated this from Yolandi's channel, please be sure to keep on watching. Enjoy. So what you are going to need is some poly filler. I used the exterior crack filler just so that it holds much better. Some jute rope and I actually had some jute rope lying around, a bucket. And then a mold I'm using this old pot that I am then going to use as my mold a plastic bag that I'll also just put inside and then something to stir your mixture in and a nice big bucket so first off I'm just starting with anchoring the jute rope and then I punctured a hole in the plastic bag and then I started mixing away and it's safer to just start off with a little bit of water and then just add to the consistency that you want. Now as soon as you've got your mixture to the consistency that you want you can then start pouring in your mixture and make sure just to always keep the rope in the center or the position that you want. So now there is my baby drying. <laughs> uh, yes. So yeah, we'll see her tomorrow. I'm gonna let it stay out overnight and we'll catch it tomorrow. So after leaving it over a couple of days, I then just removed it and then I proceeded to cut the excess jute rope at the bottom of the door stopper. I first started off with painting the little ridges with grey and along the way I actually realized that I don't like it so much so I just painted them back white just to clear them up. I then got out some old paint that I've had in my supplies and I've just painted the bottom of the door stopper. And now for my absolute favorite, matte black spray paint. So I just spray painted the top part and the, also the handle of the jute rope as well.
while I was waiting for my plant to dry I just thought that I would repot my tree so I took out the faux tree that was in there and then I just added some potting soil to seal all of the paint I just used a clear matte spray and I just gave it a good spray all around making sure that I get all the nooks and crannies I hope you guys really enjoyed that collab and the video. Please remember to go to Yolandi's channel and also give her video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to her channel. You can also find her on Instagram where she posts a lot of amazing content at Yolandi underscore Up until the next time, guys. I am not gonna be having my door bang in the house anymore because of this lovely door stuffer. Thank you so much for watching and up until the next video. Bye.